If you're making content on the PC using OBS or Streamlabs and you want to get a good, clean, even audio with your game playing alongside your voice or music for your videos, I'm going to show you how to get uh, all of your settings to an optimal level and make this headache free. So let's start with a USB microphone and maybe you have knobs on there, maybe you don't. If you don't have knobs on your USB microphone, then you may have a piece of software where you would adjust your gain or volume for your microphone. To get started, take your mic level coming in. I've got some music playing in the background here. I'm going to turn out just a little bit. I think it might be competing for my voice some. And you can see that by its average volume sitting in the yellow. And my voice, it's the loudest licks into the red just barely and that's where you want it you don't want it smacking at the end of this red meter or the red part of the volume meter have this all the way up go to your microphone and you should have a indicator a dot or a line or something and that's where you want to start out with your volume on your mic that's called a unity gain if you don't you might want to start at 50 percent or look up the online manual if it came with the manual it should in there somewhere tell you about its unity gain level where it should be for that knob same for your software um, i would put your software uh, volume at either 50 to 60 percent and if that's too quiet go to about 90 percent maybe 100 but generally that's might be too much but you might end up there everyone's setup is different and the first steps we want to take before we start making adjustments and getting it just how we want is to go to your taskbar and right click on the speaker icon and go to sound settings that will open up this sound settings window on windows if you're on mac you might have a similar, I can't remember how I did I, I helped a friend out with that before, but I don't have a Mac, so. Go into your sound settings, though. Um, and you want to make sure you're at 100% um, for your USB microphone. Or if you have a USB mixer, that's what you want to have. I like the old school setting here, the old school window. Go in, clicking on your device, go to properties, and its level is at 100%. I believe it's the same for recording. Level is 100% here. Yeah. So now that Windows settings are at 100%, we can move over to the mixer or microphone. And again, make sure your OBS uh, volume slider for your microphone is all the way up so we can use this volume meter to see where we're sitting because we just want to barely lick into the red to have the correct volume for our video content creation or streaming again with your oops with your microphone you want to have it at either 50 percent or at the indication on that microphone for unity gain same as the mixer you may have a gain knob and a, a level knob i have on this one for instance this little thick gray area that's my unity area for the gain and then I have a little arrow for the level knob and that's where I want to have it for my unity gain. You want to leave your first knob for this mixer in particular uh, in that gray area and then you might have a smaller mixer and only have this level knob and that's totally fine. You would want to adjust here to get the correct amplification so to speak of your volume. The more amplification you give it, the further past this unity gain mark you go, the more background noise you're gonna introduce. Um, the less the less background noise. It's it's like think of it as a, like distortion on a guitar. You know, if you have ever played electric guitar, you put distortion on it, it really amplifies that signal. Uh, distortion to a crunchy crunchy signal. But uh, moving forward we're at unity gain on our mixer or unity gain on the hardware knobs on our microphone or USB mic with software at about 50 or 60 percent if that's not enough 100 I don't have a USB mic so I'm not as experienced with it but I do know that's where, where you want to be sitting um, adjust that parameter on your knob uh, uh, 
on the, on the microphone, the knobs on the microphone, your volume or gain. Um, this one in particular has a volume and a mic. So I'm going to guess that the mic is its gain and the volume is its level as if it were to be on this mixer. Um, again, look in the manual if you need to or online. I'm sure there's some information for your particular USB mic. But adjust the volume or the level uh, parameter for your mic in your software. Again, I don't know what kind of software you're using, but set it adjust that gain or volume slider. I, I doubt you have a gain and a volume slider in your software, but it's probably called volume or level. Adjust that to where you're just looking into the red, do a test recording and see how you sound and go from there. Um, I think that's gonna be your best bet. I would love comments down below this video of what kind of uh, microphone or mixer you're using, what sound setup you have going on, if this video worked for you or didn't work for you, if you have questions, feel free to leave them below. I have a Discord that is geared towards teaching people audio processing and music creation, and I would love for people to join that and really ask questions because that's where you'll be able to get an immediate response and be able to have other people chime in and we can go into more detail explanations for your specific setup. I love this stuff, I've been doing it for years, so if you would like to get your audio sounding great, head over to my Discord, it'll be in the description and also in the link section on YouTube. Um, if this helped you out, leave a like. If not, I'm sorry that I did not. <laughs> Hopefully I'll make a better tutorial later, but thank you all and have a good day.